We made it. We made it, everybody. Happy New Year. Cheers. 2022. Cheers, guys. My name's Dustin Williams, and welcome to my channel. I moved out to Southern California to pursue my passion as a filmmaker and car enthusiast. On my channel, you'll get to follow along on my dream car life racing cars, building cars, and traveling to Japan to drive and build my R34 GTR. I love Japanese culture and cars, so that's mainly what you'll find here. I also built a street apparel brand called Legends based on my experiences, cars, and Japanese culture. It's been a crazy ride so far, and I can't wait to see where life takes me. So let's strap in and enjoy today's video. guys happy new year first video of 2022 and we are starting out with a bang quite literally i hope with with some fire in the r33 it's, it's gonna be great so we literally just got back from our extended little new year's holiday which i'll show you guys a little bit at the end of the video but i really was too excited to start out 2022 and i wanted to do something that i haven't done in what feels like just forever it's something that you guys have actually really really requested even since last year and uh, it's starting to get really cold here in California. We got boost weather, like I said. So I figured we'd take the R33 out today and we're gonna go for a little canyon run and just take you guys along for the rest of my day. Um, I was super excited to pick up the camera. It's been a little bit over a week since I last filmed the video. I really haven't done anything except stream. Uh, we've just been having fun with that. It's been nice to take a little break from, from YouTube and filming and editing and everything, but I was just really anxious to get back to it. And as soon as we got home, I really wanted to take the R33 out and just go for a nice rip in the canyon since we haven't done it yet we haven't taken the r33 on the canyon yet and we haven't done just like a spirited driving video in this car yet and after we did the tome it's like game over this thing it freaking it sounds awesome it ripped and i just thought it'd be fun um so we have the gopros ready to go we're gonna go and right at the base of the canyon i'm gonna pull over and give you guys just a little overview of the r33 in case you're new here or you don't really remember what's all done to it uh we're gonna do a quick overview and just recap the 33 and then go take this thing for a rip and uh we're gonna have some fun stuff for the end of the video so make sure you guys stay till then also if you haven't already 2022 help us out we're trying to hit a million subscribers if you haven't already, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it would mean a lot. It helps out a lot. So let's get started with today's video, guys. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, this is going to be a fun one. We are reaching the base of the canyon here. Uh, I'm hoping there's not too much traffic. I thought it was going to be quiet, but we do have quite a few people in front of me that I'll probably just let go up a little bit. But we're going to pull over over here and uh, give you guys a rundown of 33. But yeah, that's the canyon we're going up right there. And we got highway patrol going up too. I thought we would have a quiet a quiet little toge run, but I don't know, we'll see. Let's get a quick walk around of the 33 for you guys. For those of you guys that might not know, this is my Midnight Purple 1995 R33 GTR V-Spec. So I got this car about a year ago and it was actually very nicely built when I got it from Top Rank. Uh, the previous owner in Japan did a phenomenal job with this car. So the car pretty much has full bolt-ons completely, uh, including a Gretti twin turbo upgrade. The car on the dyno made about 425 horsepower and it feels phenomenal. So we just did the Tomei uh, exhaust, which you guys might've seen. It has never ran better. Like it feels so much more open, so much more clean. It's awesome. It looks pretty stock underneath the hood. Apex Industries intakes and we had Renes intercooler piping and an HKS front mount intercooler as well. Everything on the car has been really, really nicely done and she rips. But the crazy thing is we've never taken it for a canyon run. This is going to be the first canyon run ever in the R33 GTR. So I thought it'd be a lot of fun. We have, let's see, we have an exhaust GoPro and we also have my GoPro head mount. So this is what we're going to be using to actually capture the footage here and just have some fun so that's pretty much everything that i wanted to talk to you guys about regarding the r33 gtr so i'm gonna set everything up let's go rip so we're 
we're going up the mountain right now. I'm gonna do both up and back down. Um, going back down is a little bit more fun. Hey, that bar, sick. Going down is a little bit more fun than going up is, but both are pretty cool. Hopefully my uh, exhaust GoPro stays on. This is one of the more fun parts of the mountain here. R33 feels amazing. We did hit a little bit of traffic and the truck wouldn't let us get over or wouldn't get over for us unfortunately, but I'm gonna let her take a little break here and we're gonna head out back down the mountain, get some shots if we find a cool pullout, but this thing is so great. And best of all, our GoPro survived. And like I told you guys, this is probably my favorite car to just daily drive and have fun in. And I'm sure now you guys get to see like the first person point of view of me driving it and how good it sounds and pretty much everything about it. It's just, it's awesome. It's so cool. Oh, that is freaking sick. has been pretty rough on the canyon so I don't know how much of a clear way we'll have but let's go have some fun nonetheless uh, it's been empty for a few minutes so we should be okay 
let's uh let's go have some spirited fun the toge has been good to us part last time but hopefully we can get a clear enough spot where we'll be good on this run Definitely just made the find of the year. This is the perfect start to 2022. Just found a brand new back road, completely empty. Look at the view with the mountains over there, but check this out. Boom. Tell me there's not a better way to start 2022 than Canyon Run and the R33 and finding new secret back road, back road locations. I am so stoked. Well, that was a very successful canyon run. We gotta head home because it's gonna get dark pretty soon. And definitely don't wanna be on the canyon when it's too dark at night, but let's definitely get some shots with the R33 and you know all this scenery because it looks pretty freaking sick. successful canyon run tonight we are doing uh bison pasta super excited for it you guys really like cooking with dut when we did the daily vlog so i thought 
we'd keep it going even throughout uh, just regular videos and stuff. I told you guys I wanted to do more life and family stuff and we're gonna keep continuing it on. So I'm super excited. So this is, like I said, bison pasta. We just marinated some onions, garlic, and butter in the pan to kind of season up the meat a little bit. And then we can add our vodka sauce and pretty simple. And we just really like bison, but you can obviously use this with like turkey meat or just regular beef as well. Okay, babe, you ready for this? Bison pasta is complete. It looks freaking delicious here. Not only do we have pasta, we also made a little bit of garlic bread. This is gonna be super bomb too. So we're gonna make this for Tiana, get a taste test. Oh man. Okay, I'm trying the Spark garlic bread. Spark is pretty excited too. No sir. Garlic bread test. Oh, that crunch. Oh wow. Just a classic dish in the Dot household here. <laughs> yes. Okay, here's the thing you guys. <laughs> I could cry, it's so good. Dustin makes legitimately the best pasta. Like, hey, you know, legitimate. what do I not make the best in this house? Okay, no, pasta is really good. And it's super easy for you guys to make. If you want more in depth recipes and stuff, let me know because I can do that too. But all of this was really simple to make. Even this is like the, the most DIY at home garlic bread possible, and it's still super good. So, we're gonna smash this and we're gonna head up to the office and show you guys some fun stuff. We actually had our first competition for the Halo tournament today, which is really fun. Oh, we should tell them about our little vacation, babe. So since we've been gone, you guys have kind of missed a lot, right? A little bit over a week off for New Year's and it was amazing. Like I said, I, I missed filming, but it was also really nice just like literally not doing anything except streaming, which is really cool. But we had an awesome vacation in the mountains uh, in California at, uh, at a place called Big Bear where we saw the snow for the first time. Sparko got to run in the snow for the first time. It was hilarious and it was amazing. I'll overlay some stuff from our trip on the screen. Um, it was really pretty. The cabin was awesome. We were kind of isolated. It was much needed after filming all year and then doing 25 straight days of uploads. It was very, very nice. But we also had our very first Halo Championship Series tournament today, um, which I'll show you guys when we go upstairs, a couple of clips from that where we actually won our first game as a competitive team, which was really, really cool. So we're gonna smash this. We're gonna head to the office and end the video and show you guys some clips. I don't know if you guys saw the new setup yet for the stream. It's freaking dope. Let me set this camera up here. So just like YouTube, you guys have absolutely been crushing the streams, which I'm super stoked about. If you see behind me, we have the new nano leaves, which are super dope. We have a ton of new stuff set up right here. Uh, like the brand new webcam, stream deck, we have a light now. It's really dope. And so today was actually a really big day for Legends as well because we kind of had like a soft launch of Legends eSports. So pretty soon we're going to be making, uh, pretty soon we're going to be making our vision boards for 2022, which is something that we do every year to kind of help motivate us, uh, Tiana and I, to kind of help motivate us throughout the year so we can visually see like our goals. And one of the goals for this year was to have a Legends Esports Halo team and kind of get that off the ground. And today was kind of the soft launch for that because we had our first ever Halo tournament in the uh, Halo Championship Series, which was actually really awesome. Our goal for today was to at least beat one team and that's what we did. We entered in this morning, we lost our winner's bracket round and that put us into the lower bracket and then we won our first lower bracket round and got eliminated in round two. But we learned a lot as a team. So you guys probably don't know the entire Legends team. You can stay up to date on the stream channel as well as uh, on the second gaming YouTube channel. I'll link both of those down below so you can check them out. Uh, that way you can find all of our team, what, what we're gonna be doing moving forward with Legends Esports. So like I said, it was a soft launch, so nothing's really developed yet as far as like a website or uh, jerseys or anything like that, but we did announce that we do have a competitive Halo team and we're gonna be working towards that with the years to come, especially with the new Halo, which I'm super excited about. So uh, like I said, you guys can check out the highlights on the gaming YouTube channel, which will be down below uh, and see the Legends Esports logo and all that stuff. It's really, really cool and I'm super excited about it. And 2022 is gonna be a big, big year for us and this is just the beginning. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. One thing I did wanna say as well, if you guys do wanna see the R33 in person, we're gonna be at Tuner Evo Anaheim this Saturday. This is the first car show of the year. You guys know we do Tuner Evolution 
every year and we do every single stop and the first one of the year is here in our home state of California and it's in Anaheim which is super close to us so we're gonna have a bunch of cars there are 33 the 35 the Tokyo Drift Evo and the S2K will all be there with the Legends booth merch meet and greet it's gonna be amazing so come see us there it's gonna be a lot of fun but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video like I said, if you guys have not already, please hit that subscribe button and like the video because it really does help me out. Um, I'm excited for this year. I hope you guys are too. Remember, not every year can be your best year, but make the small victories count and make sure you are appreciating every moment that happens because it goes by fast. And I'm realizing that really, really fast. Don't limit your success and even a small step forward is a step forward and I want you guys to remember that and that's something that I'm gonna remember for this year too. But all right guys, that is me yet and I'll see all of you for Wednesday's video. Have an awesome New Year's guys. Peace out. Mm -hmm.